I'm Bill Rogers here with the Sea Stinger Pole Spear. We're going to talk about it briefly. The pole spear is uh, one of my inventions. I've, I've been uh, spear fishing since I was a youngster. And uh, to begin with, we almost all of us used uh, spear guns. But in the late 60s, early 70s, I began to travel to uh, the Bahamas. And over there, you're not allowed to use a trigger device or an actual spear gun. So I began to play with uh, pole spears and Hawaiian slings. And what I found in over the course of almost 20 years of uh, spear fishing with pole spears is that uh, pole spear does give you some advantages. Uh, one of the first advantages I found that uh, most of the predator fish, they understand aggression. And when you start aiming a spear gun at them, they don't hang around very long. Where with a pole spear, you can sometimes conceal it. You can actually conceal the loaded uh, pole spear underneath your body, and kind of like you're shooting from the hip. And uh, so I found that I could actually take some of the larger fish that I wouldn't normally be able to take with a spear gun. But what I also found was that almost all the pole spears that, that were out there at the time, they were made of all kinds of materials. Some were solid steel, some were solid aluminum, some of them were hollow aluminum, some of them were fiberglass, some of them were composites of, of, uh, of se several different materials. But uh, for the most part, I found that all of them were way heavy. They were, they were very heavy. Uh, so they were relatively slow. Now the reason that they were heavy is they're pushing uh, like a paralyzer tip which has a lot of cross-sectional area when you're trying to penetrate a fish or they're push uh, pushing one of the butterfly opening uh, tips, the broad tips. And these tips, first of all, are not very aerodynamic or hydrodynamic. Uh, they don't pass through the water very well and they don't pass through the fish very well. So you have to have a lot of mass behind them. You have to have a lot of stored energy to actually penetrate the fish. So we talked about before, it's important that you have the right balance to make these things accurate. So we have all of our weight, or our most 90% of our weight of the pole spear in the first uh, third of the, of the shaft itself. And what this does is it stabilizes, it keeps the uh, spear from yawing as it goes through the water. And it's kind of like an arrow, a fishing arrow that has the, uh, the weighted tip on the front, is that wherever the nose goes, the, the rear end will follow uh, very accurately. Some of the other features that we have built into this is that we've made this taper. Sometimes when you're spearfishing now, uh, we have two different ways that you can configure the strap. The strap right now is on what I, what I call the reef strap. So when I'm working around a reef, I can take and position this anywhere I want. And once I set the cam, then I can position my hand where I want it in, in this position. Now we taper it all the way back to this position because you never know exactly where your hand's gonna land. And so it's nice to have a taper. Once you have a taper fit and you f form a, a grip, then your hand stops because it doesn't want to take and open it up against the funnel. The other thing you'll notice that although this is still tapered, we also have riffles and a lot of people think we put the riffles in there to give you good hand control. That's not the reason. Um, it's technology that was developed before the Second World War and torpedoes, but what they found is that if they put riffles, uh, embedded the riffles in the surface, that when it passes through the water, it tends to trap air and air bubbles and it creates a boundary layer that makes this thing go faster through the water. So this, uh, it, it's kind of like a cavitation of a prop. And so anytime you've ever been in a boat and your prop picked up air and all of a sudden it revved real high, it's because it's trapped air and the air is, is uh, involved in that prop and it allows it to go through the water much faster. That's one of the reasons that we're able to get the high velocity that we get out of these. We can approach the velocity of a double band spear gun. And in some cases we can make shots equal to a double band spear gun. So that's the pole spear itself. It uh, weighs less than a one and a half pounds. It's, it's made out of a carbon fiber material. It's very strong and durable. However, you never want to get uh, a side pull on these. Uh, no pole spear will, will uh, stand up under a, a heavy side pull. But in any case, you can cam adjust this so that if you have a grouper that's say in a hole or underneath a ledge, you can actually take and cam this way down. We can open this and move this cam all the way down in a position almost to here, relock it, and then I can get up real close. I mean, I can actually get all the way up to the tip and I can actually reach up and feel where this guy is and I can pop him. Um, it's important to be able to adjust the force that you're using because you may be shooting around rocks or you may have a hog snapper that's uh, behind a, uh, a, a, a sea fan 
and there's no reason to overshoot the fish and there's no reason to drive the fish up on the, on the pole. At the same token, if I take and want to shoot open fish, I'm, I'm, I'm f fishing in open water or blue water, then I can simply take and use the tip and push out this pin that's right here. And once I push out this pin, then I can take the end cap off, slide this unit off, just untie this, and I can make it like an eventual, conventional pole spear. Now, by doing that, I can increase the velocity and the range because the, the cam actually, uh, although it works great around reefs and short shots, um, it does add additional drag. So if I'm uh, trying to shoot uh, 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 fish that are very quick I can, in open water, I can simply remove the cam and retie it, leave the cap off, and now I have a conventional pole spear that is exceedingly fast.